Hello, Transform Your Body, the surprising menopause weight loss connection you never knew about. And welcome to today's video. And I'm so glad you're here because I will discuss an um, often overlooked connection between menopause itself and weight loss. Because so often we just talk about nutrition and we talk about exercise, but we are missing this one very important pillow. And if you are a menopausal woman um, currently struggling to shift that extra weight, um, understanding the link between stress, here's pillow number three, and weight gain is actually crucial. But before you jump ahead, hear me out because it might not be just quite what you think about. And if you're new to my world, obviously I'm Antonia Dell. I'm a menopause weight loss coach and I specialize in helping menopausal women um, just like yourself address hormone health, um, all things metabolism, and also sustainability, which is so, so important if you want to not just lose the weight, but actually keep it off too. And it's my mission to basically educate as many um, of you ladies as possible so that you can feel empowered to make the right choices um, that support your body and you can actually stop jumping from diet to diet looking for the next best thing which is exactly what I did for years so you um, are going to um, be surprised by what I'm about to share with you so let's get started um so during menopause the body stops um, producing estrogen, right? So many of you are already aware of the shift in hormones and the body also stops producing progesterone. So all hormones um, end up being really, really low and it can lead to various uncomfortable symptoms such as, you know, classic known hot flashes, anxiety, um, mood swings, you know, it can impact your sleep and so many other things which can actually cause stress and an overwhelming feeling that comes with that, okay? So that particular increased stress, which is almost unavoidable, um, can actually lead to higher cortisol levels, which are commonly known as your stress hormone. So cortisol is your stress hormone, and that can result in weight gain due to an increased appetite, and you might also find yourself getting more cravings for either something sweet or, you know, you might be craving carbohydrates or just foods that are generally really, really high in calories. And as you experience a shift in hormones, your body becomes more sensitive towards stress. And you often hear me say this if you've been following me for a wee while. And that can happen even if you don't feel stressed at all. So it can be related to past traumas, um, difficult times and circumstances that you had to go through, under eating, over eating, under exercising, over exercising, looking after children, looking after aging parents, having a demanding job, just constantly being busy, that can all be perceived as a stressor to the body. So it's not just always those obvious like signs so even if you feel like that you're not stressed and that everything is going well you might have become more sensitive towards stress now that you are in that perimenopausal menopausal straight um stage so that can then lead to the body wanting to store fat so that extra cortisol basically signals your body okay let's store the fat and that's pretty much known as the the menor belly and that's when women um complain about you know major weight gain in around the middle and it's also that extra cortisol is also linked to higher um levels not just abdominal fat but also other health related problems so it's really really important for you to be able to actually manage your stress levels and like i said even if you don't feel overly stressed but if you are experiencing um, an increase of weight in the middle these are classic signs that cortisol um, is part of the equation and you need to be able to address that in order to not only eliminate weight gain around the middle and in general but also to address other health conditions so i want you to know that there are some very powerful 
powerful things that you can actually do to um, to help with that. And that's exactly what I'm about to share with you. So I want you to um, see this and then look at it from a place of awareness. If this is the case, there are some simple things you can do. So it's basically focusing on stress reducing techniques such as, you know, meditation, restorative yoga, deep breathing and finding activities that actually help you relax and also bring you joy because you want to be able to relax not just your mind but also your body and as we're heading into the colder weather here in New Zealand, taking a warm bath or simply listening to music and spending time outdoors, um, weather permitting, of course. So these are all things that are clinically proven to reduce the stress levels in your body. So even though they don't sound like very fancy and we're often, you know, looking for, um, you know, the, the magic pill and, you know, the, the quick fix and stuff, but it's those simple things that really can make such a difference when it comes to your health and well-being. So I have got um, a guide. If you're willing to take this advice to the next level, um, I've got a guide that gives you different techniques with step-by-step -step instructions and even if you only have a few minutes a day it can really help bring down those stress levels so that you don't suffer from unwanted weight gain around the middle and ultimately other health consequences um, that may follow so just let me know down below in, in the comments if you do want a copy of the guide and I will send a copy over to you Okay, so now let's talk about what you, what else you can do to support your body to navigate unwanted weight gain. So obviously, we just talked about how stress-reducing um, techniques are really, really important to incorporate that as part of your daily schedule. But obviously, a healthy diet and regular exercise is also essential um, for managing the actual stress response so we know that exercise creates endorphins those feel good hormones and we know that you know eating a balanced diet can help with blood sugar levels and you know your your hunger levels and all of that as well so it kind of goes hand in hand and when we're talking about a balanced diet we're talking about um, you know whole foods clean foods lean protein healthy fats and um, they all will help regulate cortisol levels and ultimately um, help you prevent weight gain. And then when we talk about exercise and we're talking about, you know, strength training, this can be, um, you know, body weight based. It doesn't involve having to go to the gym or anything like that, but it will basically help you reduce stress and promote weight loss because it really gives your metabolism a boost and it basically makes, uh, it puts the body into burning, fat burning mode, which is really, really good because yes, diet is key, but it also goes hand in hand with doing the right exercises and not overdoing it either. So if you are menopausal and you're watching this, you will need to adjust your exercise routine to accommodate for the changes that are happening in your body, um, such as, you know, we just talked about strength training um, to maintain bone density and prevent osteoporosis, which is very, very common uh, for menopausal women. And it's also um, even more so common for postmenopausal women. So the earlier you can incorporate um, strength-based training into your schedule, the more likely you'll be able to prevent a lot of those things um, as you go through perimenopause, menopause, and beyond. And it's, um, yeah, so basically that's a, a wrap. So what we just talked about, you know, managing your stress, um, looking at your nutrition, looking at your exercise, these are the three main pillars that work hand in hand. So you can't just focus on nutrition. You can't just focus on exercise or just focus on reducing your stress you need all three pillars in order to be able to um, help your body transition through menopause not just alleviate symptoms but actually help you lose the weight and if you found this video helpful please do follow me on Facebook and also like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that way you basically you're not gonna miss another video and you're not gonna miss um, you know all those resources that I do continue to produce and design to help you navigate that stage in, in life. So yeah, I hope it's been helpful and I look forward to connecting with you all soon. Thank you for tuning in.